so this is the next question we have two closed bulbs of equal volume v containing an ideal gas initially at pressure pi and temperature t1 are connected through a narrow tube of negligible volume as shown in the figure below the temperature of one of the bulbs is then raised to t2 the final pressure pf is this is the figure shown the first option is 2 pi into t1 by t1 plus t2 the second option is 2 pi t2 by t1 plus t2 the third option is 2 times of pi t1 t2 by t1 plus t2 and the fourth option is pi times t1 t2 by t1 plus t2 so how can we solve this question in both these condition both of these conditions the number of moles of gases are constant so i can write number of moles of gases in this case is equals to number of moles of gases in this case so we can equate number of moles of gases initially is equals to number of moles of gases finally as we know pv is equals to nrt so number of moles is equals to pv upon rt so in the initial condition we have two containers in this bulbs the number of moles of gases pi v upon rt1 similarly in this case also the number of moles will be pi v upon rt1 so i can write it initially number of moles is pi v upon rt1 plus pi v upon rt1 in the second case the number of moles of gases in this container will be pf v upon rt1 and in this container it will be pf v upon rt2 so this is pf v upon rt1 plus pf v upon rt2 so we can cancel out v by r from both sides and we'll get 2 times of pi by t1 is equals to pf common 1 upon t1 plus 1 upon t2 so i can write pf is equals to 2 times of pi by t1 into t1 t2 by t1 plus t2 so we can cancel t1 from t1 so the result will be pf is equals to 2 times of pi t2 by t1 plus t2 so this is the answer and second option matches this answer so the correct answer for this question is option number 2 now let us move to the next question so this is the question the reaction of propene with hocl cl2 plus water proceeds through the intermediate we have four options here so what intermediate will be formed in this reaction as we know in this reaction cl plus reacts so if this is our propene ch3 ch double bond ch2 this is a our propene and cl plus attack on this propene what will happen there are two possibilities either this cl plus can attack on this carbon and carbocation formed here or this cl plus can attack on this carbon and the carbocation will be formed here so we have two possible intermediates formed in this reaction ch3 ch cl ch2 plus and the second intermediate is ch3 ch plus ch2 cl as we know this intermediate is more stable as compared to this so this is stable as compared to this intermediate therefore this will be major hence the correct answer for this question will be the option number 1 where the stable intermediate is formed now let us move to the next question so this is the last question of chemistry section which says the product of the reaction given below is we have this compound in which we have used nbs in presence of sunlight and the in the second step we have h2 and k2co3 so what will happen in this case so nbs gives us bromine and addition of bromine takes place at allylic position the formation of free radicals take place so which free radical is more stable 
we have two possibilities this is the first possibility where free radical is formed at this position and this is the second possibility where free radical is formed here as we know this free radical is more stable than this so this will be the major and hence the product formed due to first reaction will be this will be the product formed in this first reaction after that we have h2o in presence of k2co3 so hydrolysis will take place and nucleophilic substitution of bromine takes place with oh and this is the product form in this reaction which matches option 1 so students this was the last question of j may 2016 paper chemistry section and this is all about today's discussion of chemistry paper all the best students for your results thank you